What's going on guys, my name is Victor, and today I'm back with another After Effects tutorial, and this one is covering an effect from Amine's compensating music video. The effect that we're going to be covering is when he's rapping to the camera and he's just going crazy playing tennis. He's not even looking at the ball, he's just going nuts on it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that effect right now. All right, so the first step is to film your subject just swinging a racket at the wall. Take that footage and bring it into Adobe After Effects. Now on here, I've got that clip of me swinging the racket, but don't mind the clip below it. When I made this tutorial, I tried two different methods of making this happen, and so that second layer was the clean plate that I filmed for another option that I had, but that option involved actually using a real tennis ball and then manipulating it to just loop like that. It's almost needless to say it didn't work because I immediately lost the tennis ball under a fence, so. Moving on. All right, now you're just going to create a new green solid. So go layer, new solid, and then choose a green that's like a tennis ball. Now, once you've done that, go up to the ellipse tool and make a circle mask. So basically you're just going to be masking out the size of a tennis ball. So the next thing you gotta do is keyframe the position of that solid throughout the duration of the effect. So contact with the racket, it bounces down, hits the ground, hits the wall, comes up, and then back to the racket again. So you'll have to keyframe all those positions throughout the entire effect. And I try to switch it up a little bit so it's not hitting in the exact same place. Try to make it a little bit more realistic with the slight variances in the motion. Now it's definitely important that as you're keyframing it, you're playing it back just to make sure that the motion looks natural. All right, so at this point, the ball kind of looks corny, so that's because we haven't turned on motion blur. So turn on your motion blur, and now it looks like it's an actual movement. Now, during this clip, there's a part where I lift my leg to hit the ball in between my legs, and as it stands right now, you can see the ball in front of my legs. So that means we're going to have to duplicate that layer, and then we're going to have to mask out any point where the ball should actually be behind the leg. Don't forget to turn on the mask path keyframes to animate the mask as needed. A little bit of a warning, I somehow when I duplicated that layer hit the motion blur on my actual footage which is not what we want because when you're trying to make that mask if your motion blur is on it's not going to completely get rid of that ball that should be behind your leg. You can see that here so make sure that motion blur is not on anything except for the green solid. Now in my video, I did add a shadow for the tennis ball, but honestly, I found it to be distracting, so if I did it again, I wouldn't add the shadow. Normally, I'm a big believer in making things as realistic as possible, but like I said, it was distracting, and it turns out they didn't even use a shadow in the music video, and I never noticed that until I went to make this tutorial. So after I was done with all that, I knew that the video was missing one crucial thing to make it look a little bit more real, and that was I wanted to match the lighting of the tennis ball to the lighting of the scene. So I turned off the motion blur and then duplicated the layer because we're going to create a fake shadow on the ball itself. I added fill to the top layer and changed the color to a very light green and then I added fill to the bottom layer to create a very dark green. So the light green simulating the sunlight and the dark green is simulating the shadow. So now I just adjusted the size of the mask on the sunlight layer to just be cresting over the top of the ball to match the lighting of the scene. Now don't forget to turn back on motion blur for both those layers and then boom, you are done. And that is how you can turn your subject into an instant tennis pro much like Amine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like, comment what you thought down below, and then subscribe if you haven't already. I would seriously love to have you guys at this channel. I'll see you in the next one.